in general, um, my work has always been a pursuit of place, um, place really as a metaphor for context. And I, I use, um, I'm, I'm, I'm really using um, distilled um, compositions to construct ideas about place. I had done a series of pencil drawings that were the first hard edge drawings I had done. Uh, prior to that, all of the work had been, you know, much more organic and gestural and expressive in that sense in terms of the line. Um, but I had done a series of drawings um, all of a sudden that were, were hard edged, uh, where I used a ruler and just a pencil. And um, so it was the first introduction of kind of, um, of a straight line into my work. I actually think that the um, reliefs on a certain level sprung from these drawings because um, as you can kind of see here, like this line is shared, but at a certain point I stopped sharing the lines and I began, um, even though uh, as you see in the paintings, you know, the, the lines are shared between colors um, and forms. So it's, um, I don't have, they become their own forms and entities. So just looking at this pencil drawing, there's, there's no need to distinguish um, what, uh, this is clearly its own form, this is clearly its own form, but you, you don't have to kind of create outlines. But for some reason, when I was drawing with the paint, um, I, I was making, I, I began to stop sharing lines. And I think um, at that point, you know, like the relief popped in. While the motivation and intention has always um, been this pursuit of place, it seems to be how I ask kind of essential human questions. I don't, I don't say who or what, I seem to ask the question where. I think that the works um, are presenting ideas about place um, through establishing very specific uh, compositions and relationships amongst the forms. And I think in part, um, the reason my work can be quite repetitive, like as you see here, two variations on a specific form, is precisely that, to show how, uh, how little it takes to shift our understanding um, of, of where something exists, you know? Um, this, I, 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 um, and I think part of the work that I had done previously with the collage, where I was taking given compositions or uh, wave structures and reducing them to these by, you know, taking away, distilling them and deconstructing them. I was deconstructing the forms um, in order to um, distill them to a point just before they dissolve beyond recognition. And um, the experience of those, um, of the deconstruction was so revealing in terms of the movement and intention of each form. So. Um, a form that seemed to move in one direction and hold itself in a certain way once another part was removed would feel like a very, would reveal a very different intention. And I think that, so uh, the repetition in the work is done specifically to reveal that kind of understanding that um, of really what is, you know, as I said, you know, I'm dealing with ideas about place, but it's also often the very unseen thing. So, um, this work actually exists within this work, and yet you don't get this feeling in this painting. So this interests me, and um, and they present you know very different um, relationships to the space around them, um, and so it's a very different sense of being in each work. You know, working with the grid and working in a linear fashion is a very human thing, and I, um, as I was saying, you know. Um, in early works, I, I was not yet working with the grid, and um, it was so tight, you know, the, the work was much more um, organic, and the lines were very tied to the gesture and tied to the body in that sense. But um, I love recognizing that working in a linear fashion and working with the grid is still very tied to the idea, and in that sense, very tied to the person or to um, humanity in that sense because um, it's not something that would just naturally occur. It's, it's, um, it's you know, man-made.